waking up super early to go get shavings again. My life is pretty glamorous. <laughs> oh, we're getting all these horses and they all need it. And shavings are now at over $6 a bag. So, mm -mm. so that means early, early wake up and then go get them. Is that her? That's YouTube. All right, shavings are in these stalls. These are huge stalls too. I wonder how big they are. They're really big. So they should be here in a few hours and waited until the last minute, but they're all bedded down. They look pretty nice. Oh, we do not. <laughs> wow. You really took yourself for a walk, huh? I'm proud. In the past 24 hours, he went from here to here. Huh. Well, actually, probably just in the last hour. <laughs> the first, like, 23, he just went from here to here a couple times. But look at you. Exercise. Huh. So we took in this boy. His owner found us. Um and delivered him here. We have discussed his weight loss plans, so that is what we'll be working on. Um, one of those situations where, you know, they really loved him, um, and <laughs> he was not as inclined to eat vegetables and healthy foods and mini pig food and whatever else, and so um, they got in the habit of giving him some human foods, um, donuts, and uh, what did they say? Biscuits and gravy. And so he got like fresh breakfasts every morning. Very overweight. Um, so this is the flip side of the underweight mini pigs. Um, he may be crossed with pot belly. He may not. Uh, right now it's, it's kind of too hard to tell, but yeah, mini pigs, if they are not fed correctly, can get this big. It's obviously very unhealthy, um, super detrimental to their joints and everything else. Um, if you look at like pigs in the wild, naturally, uh, they're not this big. They actually stay pretty fit. The only reason pigs kind of have a reputation for being overweight is because we use them for meat and people like fatty bacon, pork, whatever. Um, and so that's where the stereotype came from. Naturally, they should not be overweight. I'm gonna trim the hooves. It's okay. Trim the tusk. Um, right now he's, I would say 90% or completely blind. I doubt he has great hearing. While food makes pigs super, super happy, they're not, they're intelligent, but they're not intelligent enough to know that the repercussions of the food is that their quality of life will go way, way down. So that's where we kind of have to be the unfortunately bad guys and <laughs> deny them the things they love because in the end it will make them happier. Tomato steps. I also um, am spraying him down with some coconut oil just because his back's a little bit flaky. Hi. I know. I know. It's okay. Every day, there's exactly two bees on my lavender plant when I come out to water at night. Hello, little friends. You're doing a good job. Glad I can help feed you. They're so cute and fluffy. No. 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 I said no. He says yes. That's a no. He's gonna take it. No. Mm -hmm. He's gonna bite it. Very stupid. These are our Saturday, our wild Saturday nights. Oh. <laughs> I think 
before it hit the trailer, though, sure. Yeah. Mm. yeah. We haven't touched the trailer yet. No? Mm. Uh. Well, then let's just do this. We'll just hook up the chain up again. To the top? On the top, and we'll just pull it from the top. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> well, I was gonna say it may, it may help if you're just on the other side, you're kind of pushing it in this direction. This is one of the days where like it feels like we're really a rescue. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that, but woke up bright and early and treated the whole house for fleas because our the the YouTube <laughs> treated the house for fleas because the foster kittens uh, filled our house with fleas and then ran and picked up all this this giant shed that's going to be perfect for animals and then a bunch of cages three cages it's incredible um another rescue actually didn't need them so uh gave us an amazing deal on those um we met really just fantastic people for both of these actually um it was worth it just for that but huh, now we are back unloading this load as fast as we can so that we can go pick up some rescue ferrets from another rescue and then getting back to the house just in time to take in two more rescued horses. <laughs> this is this is the team. There's three of us. It's going really well. I mean, I don't want to jinx it, but like, I feel like when we go to bed tonight, we're gonna we're gonna feel like we accomplished some stuff. We really we pulled off some crazy feats. We demolished our house and put in doors. Ben did it. I say we. I didn't do a single thing. I painted this, but it's not done yet, and I have to paint this one. Um. Yeah, there was just a wall here. And now there's going to be the double doors and it's going to make a huge difference. So that was this weekend also. We're next door at the other farm, clearing out this building. Because right now it's not really safe for animals. Because there's still just a lot of junk left in it. So we'd had it blocked off with these pallets and now we're going to try to make use of it. All right, so we put all this down, cleaned it all out, bedded this huge space. Uh, it's, yeah, massive. Um, <laughs> probably way more than these little guys need, but whatever. And then what we're working on right now <clears throat> is putting up this fence which is all unrolled. Whoa. And then we'll take it and we'll string it from tree to tree right here. And then we'll be done. Boys, is this barn just for you and our random cow? Hmm? I think it's pretty nice in here. You say thanks. Thanks for the barn, guys. No. No. There it is. So it runs. Just right there. Not a huge, huge space, not a small, small space. Pretty much perfect for some little horses and some big, lazy dogs. Just bought these from Aldi, of course. That's the only place I shop, uh, basically. And, um, okay, I was super skeptical because it's a paper bag, basically, like a heavy duty paper bag. That's really cute, but 
you know, aesthetically not exactly what I want all over my house. This, I couldn't even set it up and this started. <laughs> I barely had this thing open. He's just, I've never seen him like this. He's just rolling around inside it all over the house. He's obsessed. Best like $4 I've ever spent. Look who finally made it out and I missed it. I don't even know how long they've been out here. I saw him waddling back from the pond the other day. But this is the first time I've actually caught them out here. On their, they made it all by themselves. So I think we finally have pond ducks. This is what I've been waiting for. And then we also have a pond cow. <laughs> We're doing a barn remodel. I'm actually sitting here because I'm sick. He's doing all the work. How many times do I say that in videos that I'm just supervising? <coughs> Stop breathing in. It's really gross though. So this is like the tool room that you guys never see because it's a huge mess. Um, but it's in this old barn where the feed room is and a couple little stalls are. <laughs> And for some reason, they put this ceiling on it that did not need to be there and made it super short. So I was like the only person that could stand up in there. So I had the brilliant idea to just tear out the roof. Problem solved, because then you got the barn attic up there. But um, it's really gross, it turns out. We found eggs and snake skins and lots of rat poop. And he won't wear a mask or gloves. Okay, just for the record though, he's doing this part, but my job is gonna be coming in here and cleaning up. Can you guys see all the trash on the floor? It's awful. So, I'm going to help. Oh, yep, it's like that. <laughs> Where are you going? It's a big world.